why do we fall ill in this chapter we are going to discuss about the reasons behind or the reasons which contribute to the diseases and how to treat the diseases and what kind of preventive measures we can follow to control the diseases all these aspects are studied under this why do we fall ill lesson so here basically we are dealing with health and diseases in human communities how they are affected the health and how the diseases are to be controlled and what are the various reasons for these diseases so here in the title itself telling that falling ill falling ill means disease let us try to find the meaning of a disease what is a disease disease means a kind of disturbance in the functioning of our body any disturbance how the disturbance is caused always disturbances are caused by something external means your body and your cells they are all having proper conditions they are functioning very smoothly they won't get disturbed unless until something from outside disturbs your system what is that something it may be other organism it may be a chemical it may be a pollutant it may be the environmental factor something else which is outside it causes a disturbance in your bodies so the disturbance is called as a disease when a disturbance is caused to your body the normal functioning of the body is disturbed failed it leads to some kind of effects so the functioning and life process are affected disturbed so that that condition is called as a disease so the disturbance in your in the functioning of your body even though it is caused at your cellular level means some of your cells are disturbed not your whole body some cells in your body are disturbed by some external agent either other organism or any other chemical or physical damage whatsoever some cells if that cells are damaged it will show the effect on the organ that particular organ say for example some malaria organisms enter the your body they reach your liver so they affect few cells of your liver but later the organ liver is affected later your digestive system is affected later your blood is affected so by that the whole body is affected so even though the disturbance is to a specific part of your body the disturbance will disturb the other organs because in our body all the organs and organ systems are coordinated and controlled and coordinated and they are all working together say for example your breathing is affected a person is affected by some disease like asthma or some tuberculosis the person is coughing and not able to breathe that means his breathing is disturbed so the cells in his lungs are disturbed by some microbe so by that he is not able to breathe properly so the disturbance is to one part lungs if he is not able to breathe properly he cannot supply oxygen to the other body parts so what happens energy is not produced in the bodies the heart it needs oxygen to pump the brain it needs oxygen to work think so as a deprived condition of oxygen is created due to the poor functioning of the lungs the person's total health is disturbed body is disturbed he is not able to supply oxygen to the body he falls short of breath he becomes unconscious sometimes it may take to the conditions like coma and finally it may lead to death see so the disease affected to a particular part it affect the that part that particular part and that total system and if one system is affected it will affect other systems also because all the systems they work in coordination with one another so thus that is how a disease it causes a disturbance at a very large scale even though the disease is only the infection to some part of our body that effect will fall on all the other parts overall on the body that is the aspect here we have to understand If you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus